Okay, let's take a look at a word problem for navigation, and this is going to be a running fix that we'll plot on the chart. Number 23, at 0800 on September 25th, 2002, you depart the W or A flashing four second bell buoy located about six nautical miles to the southeast of Point Judith. You set a course of 313 degrees per ship's compass at 5.2 knots. At 0900, you take a visual bearing of 27 degrees per ship's compass on Point Judith Light. At 0930, you take a second bearing of 71 degrees per ship's compass on Point Judith Light. What is your 0930 position? And we're looking for latitude and longitude. So the first thing I like to do is to locate the compass rows on the chart and determine what my magnetic variation should be. If we look at the compass rows on this chart, we can see that the magnetic variation in 1985 was 15 degrees 30 minutes west with an annual increase of three minutes. You'll recall that in our word problem we we're given a specific date on September 25th 2002. Now we'll need to do a little math to find out what the variation is and how it's changed from 1985 until 2002. Again the question we want to answer is what is the magnetic variation in 2002 because that is the time of our question and the answer is 17 degrees westerly variation. How did we get that? Well recall on the chart on the compass rows it indicated in 1985 the magnetic variation was 15 degrees 30 minutes west with an annual increase of three minutes. So from 2002 to 1985, 17 years have passed. So we multiply our 17 years times 3 minutes and we come up with 51 minutes. So we take our 30 minutes from the 15 degrees 30 minutes and add 51 minutes. Right now I'm just ignoring the 15 degrees. That will give us 81 minutes. So we need to reduce that down to degrees in minutes. So we'll divide and that gives us 1.35 or 1 degree 35 minutes. So I'll take my 15 degrees and add my 1 degree 35 minutes. That'll give me 16.35 or 16 degrees and 35 minutes. So I'm going to round up and we'll go with 17 degrees westerly variation as we plot our course and location on the chart. Now that I have my variation I can start to build out my table and determine what the conversions will be from the ship's compass to magnetic or true. So recall in the word problem we have a course of 313 degrees per ship's compass. So we will want to refer to our deviation table that we've created for our ship or in this case from the text and we'll want to look up the deviation for this course 313 degrees. So in this table we'll use the ship's heading or per ship's compass column and we'll find what's closest to our 313 degrees and that's going to be 300 and the deviation is zero. Now that we have the deviation, we can convert from course to magnetic. And with it being zero, we see that our course and magnetic are the same. So that's 313 degrees. And then since we're moving from right to left, we will subtract westerly variation. So 313 minus 17 degrees is 296 degrees true. There are several variations of how to remember this. The one I learned is true virgins make dull companions add whiskey. So 
anytime you're moving from left to right, you would add westerly variation. Recall from the word problem that we departed at 0800 from W or A flashing four second bell buoy located about six nautical miles to the southeast of Point Judith. So we can see Point Judith here on the chart. I've set my dividers for six nautical miles. And we can take a quick look. And I bet this is the bell we're looking for. I like to use my magnifier. And we can indeed see that this is the W or A bell. So according to the problem, we started from the bell on a heading of 296 degrees true. Conveniently, we have a compass rose located very close to the bell. We'll come over here to the outer ring on our compass rose and we'll find 296 degrees. We'll line the other end of our parallel rule up with the center mark of the compass rose and then we'll walk our parallel rule over to the bell. Okay, so we're ready to walk our parallel rule over to the bell. We've got our 296 degrees true. Here's our bell. We'll walk our parallel rule over. And we'll mark our heading. Since this is a marker, this is a fixed location, so I'll indicate that. This is my fix as of 0800. Recall from our word problem that our first bearing of 27 degrees is taken at 0900. That 27 degrees is per ship's compass. So we will correct for deviation. 27 degrees, 0 degrees deviation. Recall again that deviation is based on the heading or course, not on the bearing. So the deviation correction is still 0 degrees. So we end up with 27 degrees magnetic. The variation correction is 17 degrees west, so we will subtract and we will end up with 10 degrees true. So our first bearing of Judith Point Light should be 10 degrees true and we will plot that on the chart. So we'll find 10 degrees true on our compass rows, line our parallel rule up with the center, and then we'll walk our parallel rule over to Judith Point Light, and we'll mark that bearing. And that is our 0900 bearing. According to our problem, we take a second bearing of 71 degrees per ship's compass at 0930. So again, the heading is still 313 degrees, so the deviation is zero. That leaves us with a magnetic bearing of 71 degrees. We'll correct for variation which gives us 54 degrees true. So our second bearing 30 minutes later on Judith Point Light is 54 degrees true. So we'll plot that on the chart. So we'll come over to the compass rose. We'll find our 54 degrees true. Make sure we're lined up with the center of the compass rose. And we'll walk our parallel rule over to Judith Point Light. And we'll mark that bearing. Recall that from the problem we're traveling at 5.2 knots. And the time between bearings, bearing 1 was at 0900 and bearing 2 was at 0930. That's only half an hour, so we're going to need to divide. So half of 5.2 is 2.6. So we should have traveled 2.6 nautical miles between the time we took our bearing at 0900 
and the time we took our second bearing at 0930. Moving back over to the chart, I could see I have my 0800 course line, my 0900 27 degrees true bearing line, and my second bearing 0930 54 degrees true, all marked on the chart. Now I want to create my arbitrary course line. So I'll line up with my actual course line, use my parallel rules, and then some distance out I'll create my arbitrary course line. Now according to my speed I should have traveled 2.6 nautical miles. So I'll adjust my dividers to 2.6 nautical miles. There's one, two, five, six. So I know between the time of bearing one and bearing two, I should have traveled 2.6 nautical miles. So I'll mark 2.6 nautical miles on the chart. Now I'll return to my first bearing line and I will advance the first bearing line to that 2.6 nautical miles. Now that I've advanced the first bearing line, you can see where it intersects with the second bearing line, and this is my actual running fix. This is my actual location at 0930. Now that I have my fix, I'll determine my latitude and longitude. You can see here I'm at 41 degrees. Here's 20 minutes. I'm here, so this is 19.6 minutes. So 41 degrees, 19.6 minutes latitude. We'll refer to the bottom of the chart to find the longitude, and we'll see here we're at 71 degrees 30 minutes, and for our location, Let's see, 71, 31, 32, so approximately 71 degrees, 32.7 minutes longitude. So the answer to our running fix problem is 41 degrees, 19.6 minutes latitude, 71 degrees, 32.7 minutes longitude. And that is the running fix. Please don't forget to subscribe.